are at the Oklahomans Video Studio. I am Helen Ford Wallace with Terry Neese, founder of the Institute for Economic Empowerment of Women. Welcome, Terry. Thank you very much, Helen. Good to see you. I'm glad to see you too. You've been here recently to talk about your upcoming fashion show. Yes. But let's talk. Let's we'll talk about that a little later. And okay. let's talk about you now. Tell okay. us how you got interested and involved in IEEW. Well, you know, I, Helen, as you know, I've been involved with women business issues for many, many years, uh, 40 years oh, today. Wow. Wow. I started Terry Nee's Personnel Services, so I've, I've been very entrepreneurial for many, many years. Um, but what happened with the Institute for Economic Empowerment of Women, I actually founded the organization to educate women around the nation on public policy. It's a 501c3 nonprofit. And um, after about a year of, of touring um, with a book that I wrote, Power Tools for Women Entrepreneurs, I received a call from the State Department, um, the Education Department in the White House, asking me to help women in Afghanistan. This was in late 2006. Mm -hmm. And of course, my first thought was, why, why would I want to do that? But after taking a trip there uh, through the State Department and meeting women who had owned businesses prior to the Taliban mm -hmm. and were starting those businesses back again. And then 20 year olds who were seeing freedom um, and really wanted to start their own business but didn't know how. I thought, this is my destiny. This is my destiny to go international and help women start and grow businesses. So I've got to put a plan together. Mm -hmm. And how am I going to do this? I'm going to need to partner with the university. I'm going to need curriculum. I'm, I'm, I want to teach in country. Mm -hmm. um, I want to teach these women how to put a business plan together, how to make sure their financial statements are correct and they know whether they're making a profit or not. Because many of the women looked at me and said, I don't know if I'm making a profit or not. Even the ones that have just started. Yes, before, yeah. yes. Mm -hmm. um, and then how do they take their, mar their, their products and services to the marketplace? Mm -hmm. So put the plan together and um, went back to the State Department and the White House and the Education Department and said, here's my plan. Um, partnered up with Northwood University, which is actually a university in Michigan, Florida, and Texas. And, um, and the White House and everybody said, this looks fabulous. It's great. Um, so when are you going to get started? And I said, well, where do I find the money to do this? And they said, oh, you know, so many corporations and so many people that I know will contribute to this. I know you can raise the money from the private sector. So I walked out going, oh my goodness, I have Northwood University involved. I have all these different people involved. And so I called up my best friends with AT&T and the T. Boone Pickens Foundation and UPS and Office Depot and, and many of these people I'd worked with when I was national president of the National Association of Women Business Owners and they took a chance with me uh. and they said you want to do what and then they said okay we're in and we're, we're now finishing our ninth year and all of them are still at the table with, with us and we've graduated 500 women. Tell us about the ninth annual Summit in Peace Through Business 12-day conference and it's for 21 women. Tell us about that. Uh, our women arrive in Dallas um, actually today mm -hmm. and um, we have a, a deep leadership development courses, leadership boot camp is what we call it and it's held at AT&T University. The professors are from Northwood University. So they do a deep dive on, now that I have a business plan, what do I do with it? How do I implement it? Now that I have financial statements, they work with Ernst & Young volunteers that come yeah. out and work with them on their financial statements. Mm -hmm. um, and then they have marketing class, um, they have a leadership class, and uh, they will leave Dallas after um, a, a five-day courses in curriculum, and they will come to Oklahoma to live and work with a woman who owns a like-kind industry, um, and they'll work and live with her for um, about four days. And then we'll go back to Dallas and host an International Women's Economic Summit hosted by AT&T at their AT&T University headquarters. Uh, we have some tremendous speakers this year. Um, Dr. Patricia Green, who is from Babson College um, and head up, heads up 10,000 women from Goldman Sachs. 
uh, Dr. Patricia Green's really going to talk with them about, you know, how do you go back home and truly make a difference in your world? And um, then we have Vox Global that's going to talk with them about branding their business and their websites and taking their products and services to the marketplace. That's not only good for our international visitors, but it's good for American women entrepreneurs mm -hmm. that are going to be at the summit. And a lot will be there from Oklahoma. And then our final is our graduation ceremony, which will mm -hmm. be held this year at the George W. Bush Library. Oh, that be fun. at and is sponsoring too. that uh -huh. as well. Uh -huh. And our commencement speaker, are you ready? Is Carly Fiorina. At some point while they're here, you have the, the fifth annual Jewel Luncheon. Helping women here. Jewel Fashion Show, that's mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. um, and, 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 and that's Cindy. Cindy Shelby, R. Mm -hmm. Myers, mm -hmm. um, will do the clothes. Um, Spencer Stone doing clothes for men, so mm -hmm. we'll have male models as well. And you this, can't miss this. This is a wonderful jacket from R. Myers and yeah. Cindy Shelby. Cind Cindy, Worth. Cindy, uh, yes, got Worth clothes. Mm -hmm. um, I think thirty thousand dollars that will be don All the clothes will be donated to um, women here in Oklahoma that we are doing makeovers for. Eden Salon and spa is doing the makeovers for one woman from five different nonprofits, like, oh. like the YWCA, uh -huh. Suited for Success. They will walk the runway. We're gonna show the before and after. And um, Cindy's providing uh, the worth clothes. Eden Salon's doing the hair and the makeup. And um, we'll, this will lift the spirits of we think of women here in Oklahoma and then our Afghan and Rwanda women will also be at the fashion show and they'll have the opportunity so anybody that, that wants to come go to our website at www.ieew.org and register to come to the fashion show sixty dollars for the fashion show if you register early where will it be? Uh, it's at the um, Will Rogers Event Center mm -hmm. 630 reception show starts at 7 and you're not sold out. We're not sold out yet. Mm -hmm. um, yet, but we're getting close. So go register now. Yeah. And our miss, our master and mistress of ceremonies, Dean Blevins from Channel Nine, uh -huh. and Dr. Susan Chambers from Lakeside Women's Hospital is our master and mistress of ceremonies. And I think it will be a fun, fun night. Terry, we salute you. Oh, you really care about these people and. Everything you have done has been to help locally and internationally. Good luck with the upcoming summit and all of your endeavors for empowering women. Thank you. I Thank appreciate you. it.